Hi, I'm Chef Kyle Groves from Cat Restaurant in downtown Calgary. Uh, we're going to do a little demonstration here on how to cook the proper scallop. We've got some, one of the things that we get complimented on and questions about all the time is how to cook these, uh, these things. So we've got a beautiful scallop from Qualicum Beach in, uh, just uh, on Vancouver Island and I'm going to show you how to cook it now. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take a very hot pan, cast iron pan is best because it's nice and heavy. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil on there and you can see it's just going to be smoking hot. Grapeseed oil is great to use because it's nice and neutral flavor. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our scallop and we're going to just add some kosher salt to it. You want to add kosher salt because it's really uh, it's nice and even. You can get it all over, uh, all over everything. Uh, then we're going to take the scallop, we're going to put it the front side down, just right into the oil. And again, this pan is going to be really, really hot. That's how you're going to get your nice caramelization on the, on the scallop. What we want from this is a scallop that is translucent throughout, warm through the, all the way through the middle, but nice, beautiful caramelized brown on the outside. Um, so we're going, to take this, we're going to take that scallop, we're going to let it cook for about 45 seconds to a minute, and then what we're going to do is, uh, is we'll flip it over and we'll finish cooking it. One of the reasons we use these great, uh, these great Qualicum scallops is because they come in fresh. Uh, there's a major difference between fresh scallops versus frozen scallops. Frozen scallops, when they're frozen uh, and you thaw them out, they start to purge all of their, all of their liquids. With fresh scallops, they don't do that. Uh, it's, it's a lot more difficult to come across fresh scallops. When you do, they're really, really a, a special treat to get. So we, we're going to take this and we're just, again, we're going to just continue to let it cook, pushing it down every now and again just to make sure that the, we get a nice even sear on it. The, the pan again, you can see the smoke coming off it. It's got to be a really, really hot pan. If you're not setting off your smoke alarms, if you're doing this at home, you're not doing it right. So we're going to now take that, take that scallop and we'll just take a little look at it now. And you can see here, as we flip it over, that we've got nice, beautiful brown on the top, nice caramelized. So what we're going to do now, just to finish cooking it, is we'll add a little knob of butter like so. Let that butter melt. Don't worry about, uh, about this, uh, you're, you're not going to eat all this butter along with it. It's just going to help uh, flavor it and cook it. We're also going to take a little bit of uh, fresh lemon juice. Flame that up and then we will simply baste the scallop. And you can see the, the butter, what, it, what the butter is actually going to do is it's going to give it a nice nutty brown, uh, brown color. It's going to give it a nice nutty brown flavor as well. And you can see the butter very hot. It's sizzling all over the, all over the scallop. And that's what's going to help us cook it all the way through until it's a beautiful translucent uh, texture and color. We're going to take that scallop and take it off. And you can finish it with just a touch more of the brown butter. And there we have it. That's going to be a beautiful, nice Qualicum Beach fresh scallop.